Before we begin the video, please let me know what you guys think about this. Give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down and let me know in the comments below what you think about it. I worked hard on this video and hopefully you guys enjoy it. That way we can make some more videos like this. Without further interruption, let's begin. These creatures have nocturnal habits. Also, due to the position of their feet, one can never quite tell from which direction the beings are moving from by looking at their footprints. Some people believe that they bring death and it is said that one should not look them in the eye. Otherwise, the person is at risk of being bewitched permanently. Also, the only vocalization made by Siwapas is said to be a kind of whining or chirping. Siwapas are considered to be magical beings, beautiful in appearance to some, yet horrendous to others. All sources agree that they are wild creatures. They are compared in many cases to mermaids, beautiful yet cruel, and far from innocent. It is said that they are so beautiful as to lure men into the forest. Even though following footprints is misleading to have sex with them only to kill them afterwards. Even today, one can still find inhabitants who confirm having sighted a siwapa. El Coco is a mythical ghost monster, equivalent to the boogeyman. In Spain and Latin America, parents sometimes invoke the Coco as a way to discourage their children from misbehaving. They sing lullabies or tell rhymes warning their children that if they don't obey their parents, El Coco will come and get them and eat them. It is not the way that Coco looks, but the way he does that scares the most. It is a child eater and a kidnapper. It may immediately devour the child, leaving no trace, or it may spirit the child away to a place of no return. But it only does this to disobedient children. The Coco is on the lookout for a child's misbehavior on top of the roof or in a dark shadowy place. The Coco takes the shape of any dark shadow and stays watch. It represents the opposite of the guardian angel and is frequently compared to the devil. The fish taco is a pale skinned vampire boogeyman who roams the Andes and kills in order to drain victims of their body fat. The legend of the fish taco was basically plucked directly from the real life horrors experienced by the indigenous communities of Peru and Bolivia in the 15th century. The descriptions of the creature have varied slightly from generation to generation. They tend to be versions of white men alternately depicted as priests, doctors, aid workers, tourists, anthropologists, etc. They stand in for five centuries of foreign exploitation. Duendes are well known all over Latin America. Beliefs about duendes vary from region to region. Some believe there are souls of infants who died before they could be baptized Others simply portray them as malevolent, naughty spirits that hide in a person's home and cause havoc. But most duende variants seem to have a special relationship to children, probably because parents began using them as a tactic to scare their kids into doing their bidding. I will leave two video links in the description below about real encounters with duendes. La Llorona Although several variations exist, the most basic story tells of a beautiful woman by the name of Maria, who drowns her children in a river as a means of revenge because her husband left her for a younger woman. 
She soon realizes that her children are dead, so she drowns herself in the river. Challenged at the gates of heaven as to the whereabouts of her children, she is not permitted to enter the afterlife until she has found them. Maria is forced to wander the earth for all eternity, searching in vain for her drowned offsprings. With her constant weeping giving her the name La Llorona, English for the crying woman, she is caught between the living world and the spirit world. Parents often use this story to prevent their children from wandering out at night. In some versions of this tale and legend, La Llorona will kidnap wandering children who resemble her missing children, asking her children for forgiveness and drowning these other children to take their place. People who have claimed to have seen her say she appears at night or in the late evening by the rivers or lakes in Mexico. Some believe that those who hear the wails of La Llorona are marked for death she is said to cry, I, mis hijos, English for all my children. I will leave two video links of encounters with La Llorona in the description below.